Hello everyone. Welcome to Yellow Pages Nursing. In today's video, we will be discussing about drug calculation on reconstitution of powdered medication. Before entering into the session, if you have not subscribed our channel, please subscribe our channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon to receive instant notifications. Let's get into the session. Reconstitution involves adding a solvent such as sterile water for injection to a powdered medication to prepare a liquid solution for administration. Here, the picture shows solute or powdered medication reconstituted with solvent or liquid diluent. A drug in a powdered form is necessary when a medication is unstable as a liquid form for a longer period. This powdered drug must be reconstituted or dissolved with a sterile diluent before administration. Dilution Dilution involves decreasing the concentration of a solution by adding a solvent such as saline or sterile water to it. Here the picture shows a reconstituted solution mixed with a solvent or liquid diluent in order to decrease the concentration of a solution. While discussing the examples, we will get a clear idea. Let's start with an example. First example is, you have a vial of powdered antibiotic labeled as containing one gram of the drug. The instructions specify that it should be reconstituted with 5 ml of sterile water for injection. What will be the concentration of the reconstituted solution in milligram per ml? The formula will be drug concentration in milligram per ml is equal to amount of drug divided by volume of solution. Here, amount of drug 1 gram is equal to 1000 milligram. Volume of solution after reconstitution will be 5 ml. As per the formula, Drug concentration is equal to amount of drug divided by volume of solution that is equal to 1000 divided by 5 which gives 200 mg per ml. So, the concentration of the reconstituted solution is 200 mg per ml. Let's look at the second example. An antibiotic vial contains 750 mg of the drug in powdered form. You need to prepare a solution with a concentration of 50 mg per ml. How much volume of sterile water for injection needed to reconstitute the powder? The formula will be total volume is equal to total amount of drug divided by concentration of solution. Here, total amount of drug is 750 mg. Concentration of the solution is 50 mg per ml. So as per the formula, total volume is equal to total amount of drug divided by concentration of solution, which is equal to 750 divided by 50, which gives the answer 15 ml. So to achieve a concentration of 50 mg per ml, the reconstitution of the powder drug requires 15 ml of sterile water for injection. Now, third example is, a patient requires a dose of 500 mg of antibiotic to be administered intravenously. You have a vial of reconstituted antibiotic solution with a concentration of 200 mg per ml. How many milliliters of the solution should you administer to the patient? The formula here is volume of solution in ml is equal to required dose divided by available dose. Here the desired dose is 500 mg, available dose is 200 mg per ml. So as per the formula volume of solution is equal to required dose divided by available dose. That is equal to 500 divided by 200 which gives the answer 2.5 ml so 
you should administer 2.5 ml of the reconstituted antibiotic solution to the patient to deliver a dose of 500 mg. Next example is, a patient is prescribed to receive 1 gram of antibiotic over an hour of IV infusion. The reconstituted solution has a concentration of 100 mg per ml. What infusion rate in ml per hour should you set the IV pump to deliver? The formula here is infusion rate in ml per hour is equal to total dose in milligram divided by total concentration of solution in milligram per ml. Here, total dose is 1 gram which is equal to 1000 milligram. Concentration of solution is 100 milligram per ml. Infusion duration is 1 hour. So as per the formula, infusion rate is equal to total dose divided by total concentration of solution that is equal to 1000 divided by 100, which gives the answer 10 ml per hour. So you should set the IV pump to deliver the antibiotic at a rate of 10 ml per hour to administer 1 gram over 1 hour of intravenous infusion. Next example is a pediatric patient weighing 20 kg requires a dose of 25 mg per kg of antibiotic every 6 hours. The reconstituted solution has a concentration of 50 mg per ml. How many ml of the solution should the child receive per dose? Here, the formula will be volume of solution in ml is equal to desired dose multiplied by body weight divided by available dose or concentration. Here, the desired dose is 25 mg, body weight is 20 kg, available dose is 50 mg per ml. So as per the formula, volume of solution is equal to desired dose multiplied by body weight divided by available dose or concentration that is equal to 25 multiplied by 20 divided by 50 which gives the answer 10 ml. So the pediatric patient should receive 10 ml of the reconstituted antibiotic solution per dose. Now few examples for your practice. First example is a patient requires a dose of 600 mg of antibiotic to be administered intravenously. You have a vial of reconstituted antibiotic solution with a concentration of 100 mg per ml. How many milliliters of the solution should you administer to the patient? Second example is a patient is prescribed to receive 2 gram of antibiotic over 1 hour of IV infusion. The reconstituted solution has a concentration of 200 mg per ml. What infusion rate in ml per hour should you set the IV pump to deliver? Third example, a pediatric patient weighing 15 kg requires a dose of 20 mg per kg of antibiotic every 6 hours. The reconstituted solution has a concentration of 60 mg per ml. How many ml of the solution should the child receive per dose? You can do the calculation and mention the answers on the comment box. So here you go with drug calculation on reconstitution of powdered medication. If you find this video useful, please like it, share it and subscribe it and do not forget to hit the bell icon to receive instant notifications. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.